I'll listen to all of Death Grips' music and here are the three most common things I could find in their production. Let's get right into it. The first thing I want to talk about is minimal but purposeful layers. When I first listened to Death Grips, I used to assume that a lot of shit was going on. They had probably like a thousand tracks in their Ableton like project or whatever and that their production was most definitely overwhelming. But I found that actually that's not the case. Here are a few examples I'm going to bring up. Guillotine is just the bass, a little bit of synth counter melody, kick, snare and MC Ride's vocals. The bass covers up a big portion of the frequency spectrum and that's why all of us feels like a lot of going on. Next song, Law of the Game, which consists literally of tribal drums, vocal chops and some synth stabs. There are no pads and there are no chords and notice that during the verse where Riot is rapping the most, only the tribal drums are playing. The next song I want to look at, Hustle Bones, which consists of stereo drums, so bass, snare, kick and some white noise percussion during MC Rise's main verse. And then in the chorus, there is this crazy vocal op going on. Their bass is shorter to leave bass for the op to go crazy. So again, very minimal layers. The last song I want to look at is Warping, which consists of bass, kick, hat, snare, and this little chord thing that you can hear during a break. <laughs> The complexity actually comes from the snare, where it ch changes patterns like once in a while. Here's a to remember, pick one or two distinct sounds that you would like the listeners to hear when, when you're making your beats. Do a call response between the elements in the instrumental and leave a good amount of space for the vocalist during the verse. The next thing I want to talk about is sterilizing this beat. They don't really give a shit about mono. All of their music is very stereo, especially the bass and the drums. Here are a few examples, guillotine, Double Helix No Love You might think he loves you 808 Here are the practical steps on how you can achieve a similar sound Bass sound design Ableton Lads, Corpus is the new best friend This is how I turn this drum loop to this bass. The next thing I want to talk about is the sterilizing part, where everything in DJ's music is so stereo, even the bass and drums, which I know a lot of audio engineers right now are like quaking in their seats and like just about to go oh, that's blasphemy. Unfortunately, Death Grips doesn't give a fuck. And neither should you. Shout out to SCSC Sophie actually for this Reddit post that kind of brought light to this. And that's how I also like found out and kind of realized that everything was in stereo, which she, which she was right about. And you go from playing this particular drum loop, something like this. And to something like this. You can follow a similar chain to this, distortion, stereo delay or the harsh effect, very short room reverb, OTT compression and then another multiband compression. The next thing I want to talk about which you might not be extremely happy by, the rhythm aspect of Death Grip. Unfortunately, this is something that is probably the most difficult to replicate. The reason being is because of this beautiful man. Zach Hill. Why you might be asking? Well, Zach Hill, for starters, is one of the most unique drummers out there. He's really known for drumming in like chaos, but beautifully. There's also videos and like photos of him like actually bleeding from drumming. So like, yeah, this dude's crazy. He comes from primarily a math rock background. He uses V drums to record his drums for Death Grip. Technically, it is live. It is a bit hard to replicate in terms of programming your drums. And finally, once you have all these elements, you can bring it all together by having a limiter and a glue compressor in your master. The point is to over compress everything to get weird sounding stabs here and there. And the next thing you can do is mix it in clipping. And you should get something that sounds like this. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.